Welcome back everybody to another little Glios custom build that I'm going to be attempting. Hopefully it won't take me like six months like the last one did. Hoping to have this one accomplished relatively soon because I have everything already kind of set up. It's not going to be too crazy. We've got a Stonem here all the way from Baglen Creations. I love the Stonem guys. This is a Dozier Stonem, so he's a big beefy boy, which is pretty sick. And this kit just has the head, the body, the arms, and the leg pieces, but none of the connecting joints in between those. So I have to get those set up and make them look nice and cool with a bunch of other Goliath's parts that I have. Firstly, I want to give him some extra detail on all his little cracks and crevices. So I'm going to take one of these little Gundam pens, the brown one here. I'm going to go over it, see how it looks. I'm thinking the brown will probably work best for him, but if not, maybe I'll go in with a black afterwards. At least I can go over that. So I'm going to get started on this guy and then we'll jump into more of the thoughts on the building process. I'm kind of going between a couple different ideas right now. Okay, so don't mind the mess. I've got a lot of things going on on the desk right now, but I'm thinking about using some Biomaster ooze parts to go with them because he does actually have a green eye socket thing, a nice translucent green. Not quite the same green, it's a bit of a darker green, so that's why I think these will look cool still, but I've also got these guys that I'm willing to break apart for some of those nicer, darker greens, potentially just using the other green too, but I think these guys have some pretty cool parts that I could potentially use to connect the bits together on this looking stone man conversely i found that i had a couple extra geodraxis which you know for staying with the stone theme we've got some geodudes here that might look really intriguing as well especially if we give them beefy like shoulders with like the bodies or something like that i think you look really cool as well now we're not matching the green we've got the orange going but i think it would still work especially if we have enough pieces to just match the rest of the body i think it might work really well so i don't know i'm kind of debating between these three options of what i should use for pieces but we got to get this guy detailed up first so let's do that here's one more look out of the bag so you can kind of get a nice detailed look at all the parts we're dealing with they got the head the eye little piece we've got the nice arms and the feet aspect to it so this is what it looks like just straight out of the package which looks amazing i love the molds on these guys but let's get them going with some detail. Okay, we got it all finished up and detailed out. It took me a while because I was using one of the Gundam pens. This one, in fact, this was the brown panel lining pen and it just dried up on me like immediately. I did like the chest part and then it dried up. So I had to wait a day because I had to order a new one and when that one came in, it dried up almost instantly too. And that's because I am kind of an idiot and I just goof around and I think this will be easy and fun. I don't have to think or anything. Unfortunately, I did have to think and these are only made for like plastic material and the Stonem Dozier that Boglin Creations made. He uses like a resin mix, I believe. So the resin was just, and I don't even know how this works, honestly. So if anybody has any clue, it just like sucks these things dry or just forces them to stop working completely. It's really weird. I was not easily deterred though. I ended up going through like five other different types of pens that I have for inking and all sorts of different things and basically like ruined five separate pens just trying to do the panel lining on this guy. It was ridiculous. Yes, I know. I probably should have just painted it from the get-go, but I just really wanted to use the pens. I like inking stuff. That's just my that's just my thing. Needless to say though, I had to just end up painting the dang thing. So I got the paints out and I did that in like an hour or two yesterday. So let's check out the results. So here we go. Here they are all panel lined and nicely detailed. All the cracks and crevices have gotten hit with the nice little brown. There's how the head turned out. You can see that nice green glow of the eyes came out pretty well. All the nice little browns. Now the head was actually used with the pen before it got dried up. The chest piece was also panel lined with the pen before it dried out and then the both the arms and the legs ended up having to be painted but you can't really tell the difference too much and the brown I had in the paint actually matched perfectly so it worked out pretty good. Now it's time to start building and putting this guy together. I did end up consulting my wife and getting her opinion because I trust her opinion with these types of things and she said I should go for the orange just because and I agree with her there's extra pieces that you can have some continuity between 
both shoulders, both joints. If I use one of the other little glioscas as I mentioned in the beginning, yeah, it might be mix matched a little bit more. So I've got plenty of parts for these guys. So that's what we're going to use to build out this dude. We're also going to need joints. So I think I'm going to be using just the black, like, oh, now little kit for the joint parts, you know, the little balls and stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to go black. I think that'll be the safest option to have everything look very nice. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be using the pieces yet on these guys. I'm thinking about doing like the nice shoulder pads with the chest here or even the head potentially but I want to make a huge like bulked out guy I might put the feet on top of the other feet kind of like something sort of something like that we'll see I'm gonna get it going though and then we'll see how this turns out Ooh, something kind of sort of somewhere all right i've been building building and this is what we've got so far he looks pretty dope now there's some problems and issues i might make it so his his legs are like on a slant so he has trouble standing unless he's kind of leaned forward a little bit so i might work on trying to resolve that issue overall i'm pretty happy i'm almost considering discluding these little shoulder bits that make him kind of pop back I'm not sure. He might look cool just with these connected into the shoulder. The hardest part, honestly, was finding this little middle bit right here to connect from his chest to the little crotch area, I guess you could say. Uh, that one was troublesome because uh, any piece I had that would have semi worked made him like really large and he needed to be just a hair bit squattier. Otherwise, the proportions were just a little bit awkward. And now I like the beefiness of the shoulder pads and everything. Uh, I'm considering maybe making his legs a little bit squattier too. I might use this piece, this little fist piece from the Geodraxis and kind of plug it in like that and maybe have like some little pokies coming out the side uh, or the back or the knee or something. We'll see. I'm not sure, but that would squat him up a bit. It might help with even the standing part. See, that height looks a bit more right. It just takes off a hair, just a hair, but I think that's what's going to make it here. Also, I think his legs being beefier helps too. That's the other problem was like, this looks a little bit too skinny maybe. Okay, let's check that out now. So now we've got the little fist joints, the fist knees in here. Now I can swap them around kind of like this, and I think that would be completely Bruh. serviceable. Oh, he's a little little floppy everything was coming apart when I was trying to build them up together so there's how it look with just like kind of the knees not too bad but conversely I could plug in a little like spike here or something so I think I'm gonna decide on that I'm not 100% sure but I think this gives his legs a little bit more beefiness and that's kind of what we want to go for. His little belt buckle thing fell off. Some of these parts are pretty loose the connecting points between the stonum parts and the other glios parts like his arm here is really like really loose unfortunately i don't know if there's a solve for that someone can give me a heads up or a help in the comments let me know what you do if you've got like extra loose parts thankfully just the way it's shaped and everything you're able to kind of hang it and it sets and it looks pretty good so it's not too terrible wait a second what if i used another one of the leg parts Ooh, that could be interesting then we got some really good beefiness kind of something like this where i'll put these two together oh okay okay wait a second that actually looks nice and beefy now huh Definitely need to fix this joint problem too. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure which one I like better. I gotta fully see it. I can't like picture it in my head. So unfortunately I gotta break all this apart again. These are the woes of Glios building. You know, until you're like super, super experienced, there's a lot of back and forth between this part looks good, this part doesn't look good, what looks good here, this and that. Pulling apart, reapplying it, testing out different things, never fully satisfied. Ah, I don't know. I swear some of my other builds took me so long to make just because like I wanted it to look not awkward, not weird, but it's just so difficult to just get immaculately right. I think I like this better though. Oh man, I am not sure. I think this looks more like a knee thing 
Ooh, we could flip flop it here almost. Wait a second. That actually helps a lot, I think, with standing too. Oh man, okay, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, you could kind of do like a knee joint thing with that almost, if you get them like posing. I don't think it's gonna be too bad, especially once you get posing on these guys, I think it'll be pretty sick. Oh yeah, I gotta add in things there. We can plug in a few extra features since we're using the Geo Draxis nonsense. We gotta stick with the rock theme, get them bulked up a bit. Ooh, okay. Okay, a little bit awkward. Maybe need something a little smaller, potentially. I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it, man. I'm really liking this. He's coming together. I wish everything held a little bit nicer, though. That is my only complaint, is that things are not holding snugly. Now, worn Glios parts, they're going to get a little loosey-goosey after a little bit, but after first connection point, you know, that's when it gets a little bit, you know like bummed out i'm a little bummed out by it i guess i should say but you know when it just is super loose after you plug it in once i might add these to the shoulders like as a little like i don't know what you'd call that but it might look kind of cool yeah it looks like he's too big for this he's too big for the little shoulder extras but that's okay because i was planning on making him like a vest to go over here which is what we're going to work on next and maybe a little bit of fabric fabric down by the crotch area something i don't want to take away the whole crotch because i think it looks fine but i do want to widen up his little pelvic area hip area make that look a little bit wider so it's kind of more uniform with the bottom of the hips to the chest ribs area also since i took these ball joint parts out from the little leg area i think if i swap to the bigger joints they might look better on the arm his eyes fell out oh no okay there we go Ooh, yes Yes, 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 that looks better. Plug his eyes back in here. They're not staying. Even the eyes are a little bit loose. Okay, my phone's about to die, so I gotta go charge it, I guess. But that definitely looks a little bit cleaner for the shoulder area. Okay, I started doing all the fabric for the guy, so I kind of started doing some light designs just on some tissue paper. As you can see here, it's just silly little tissue paper and then i finally went to my fabric and started cutting it out uh, once i knew kind of my measurements and what i was thinking about doing also cut out a little strip for like a little belt part so yeah we'll go over those i didn't film the process but you know it's just cutting out some fabric i didn't go crazy i didn't sew anything okay let's check out the final look for our stonum dozier here he is ba bang there we go a couple things i just did off camera i switched out i don't think i mentioned that did i say that on camera that i switched out these parts i don't know if i did or not i added an extra little adjustment in for these little half circle ball joint parts on the hands which i think worked out nicely it gives them a little bit more movement and then the last thing i did was just add in these little ball joints on the back of the leg so he can stand up straighter if he wants Bruh. we can also oh he's a little floppy still but we can also pose him and make his knees bend a little bit in different directions we got him a little belt on here we got him a nice little vest it's pretty sick looking you know nothing too crazy with that look at that stance he's a big boy i love it so just a couple poses and i'll you know i'm gonna show a few pictures here as well once we're done with this section but i think he works pretty good you can see he's got the movement we can flip around the legs a little bit so we can get that little knee bend in there he can stand on something potentially let's just get this going here there we go we can kind of see how he looks with a little standing aspect here very nice We've got the little Captain Morgan thing going. Don't have a name for this guy yet, but hopefully I can come up with one by the video. If I don't, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have the, the name of them if I did come up with one. But, you know, feel free to give your opinion on what you think he should be called. The Dozer build itself does already have a name, but, you know, this is the custom creation build type for this guy. So, I'm probably going to give him his own little cool Geodraxis-esque combination stonum name, I guess you could say. The belt's a little funky. It's I kind of had to pierce it, stain on okay yeah i think the vest just adds that extra little flair that we were looking for here but also let me know in the comments name or not what you think of the build and how you think we did on this one and let me know do you want this to be like kind of a little series a little glio series where i just take you on my build process for different little projects i have going on it might be kind of a fun little series to do here and there but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that let's check out some photos
that's going to be it for the video though hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe leave a like on the video and let me know what kind of builds we should do next if this does turn into a series what kind of stuff would you like to see some onel stuff some mangalore stuff let me know have a great rest of your week and we will catch you guys in the next video